Hello booktube and welcome to my bookshelves. So today I'm going to do my TBR for March Mystery Madness, which is a monthly readathon all about mysteries. But before I get into my, my TBR, just a quick update. Um, for those of you who know, watch this channel, I'm part of a an amateur drama group and we've recently just finished a production of Treasure Island, which was very successful, lots of good reviews, and we've had a week off. And so now we start our next one. And so the next play we have just started is called Out of Focus by Peter Gordon. This was originally a sort of 1970s comedy, but it's been updated to modern day. And I played part of David, and I've highlighted my lines already. Quite a few lines to learn. Um, I played part of David, who is a policeman. And he turns up at this village hall expecting a table tennis tournament. Um, but when he arrives, the hall has already been booked out to um, to a badminton club, to um, pantomime rehearsals, um, brownie, um, brownie evening, and, and a lecture on steam trains. And so all these people turn up at this village hall on the same evening all expecting to have use of the hall and and chaos ensues. So, yeah, so we had first read through of that um, this week and we start proper rehearsals for that next week. And so we rehearse twice a week and then we perform in middle of May. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll be posting updates. So March Mystery Madness. So it's a month-long readathon. There's lots of hosts for this. I shall link all of the details, all of the hosts, down below in the in the description. So go and check those out. Go and check out their announcement videos. Um, but there are five five prompts, and I've yeah I've very loosely followed those prompts. So the five prompts are um, old, again, new, borrowed, and blue. So those are the five prompts, and then there's a bonus um, if one of the books involves a wedding. So I will show you roughly my TBR for March Mystery Madness. So the first book I'm hoping to read, and this is also part of another project I'm doing, my A to Z of Agatha Christie, and that is Agatha Christie's The Big Four. So this um, will probably come under the again prompt because I've already read this once a long time ago though. This is a strange one um, because it's not, um, it's more of an espionage thriller involving Hercule Poirot and a international organisation of criminals um, get it and, and Poirot gets involved to try to bring down the head boss of this, of this network. Um, so he travels sort of different countries, meets different criminal bosses and tries to tries to bring them down one by one until he reaches the head boss. Um, this was written um, sort of late 20s and it was not long after um, her disappearance and her breakup of her marriage and she was struggling to to write anything and someone came up with the idea of taking a lot of her short stories and putting them together into one into one book and as far as I remember it it doesn't really work there are some good there are some good moments some good bits but as a whole I seem to remember I was disappointed in this but I will hope hopefully I'll change my mind when I reread it that is the big four Next up, I've got one of the British Library crime classics, and I think these are fantastic. So the British Library are reissuing a lot of out-of-print, golden age um, detective stories that have just been completely forgotten about. And, and like I said, yeah, they're reissuing them. With, and this one is called The Arsenal Stadium Murder by Lawrence Gribble. Um, this was sort of 1930s, so this follows the Arsenal football team, um, the 1939 Arsenal football team, and actually uses some of the actual players in that team in this book. 
and they're playing another team and a member of that team dies during the match and and murder is suspected um, as an Arsenal fan really looking forward to to getting into this one I think it's going to be fascinating um, I've never heard of the author Leonard Gribble never heard of him before but yeah really excited about this one that is the Arsenal stadium murder and another one of the British Library crime classics um, this one is Sergeant Clough Stands Firm and the reason I've chosen this one is because it involves a wedding. So a middle-aged woman who sort of everyone has sort of expected to remain single, um, remain a spinster in this little village. She's never had any, any male friends. All of a sudden, she ends up getting married to this younger man. And then not soon after, she is found dead and the young man has disappeared. And Sergeant Clough is called in to try and find out what happened. It's a very thin book, so hopefully I will get through this really, really quickly. Again, not read any of Jill North's books before, so really looking forward to this one as well. It's Sergeant Clough stands firm. Really, really enjoy those British Library crime classics. I've got a few on my shelf and read a few, and yeah, so I really recommend yeah, picking some up if you find some. Next up in this is going to be for the old prompt, and this is Ellis Peters and the and the CAD file. This is the first CAD file omnibus. This contains the first three books. I've read the first two already, so the third book is called Monk's Hood. Um, so CAD file is a monk in the 11th, 12th century, um, during the reign of King Stephen. And he is an ex-soldier from the Crusades, but has decided to, in his older age, to live in a monastery and tend a herb garden. He is the, he is the apothecary of the monastery. Um, and in this one, I believe, some of the drugs and that he has been preparing have been stolen from his storeroom and been used to kill somebody in the in the town um, and because there's no so there's no police force as such he is it's up to him to to go around and investigate and find out who stole his drugs and and what they did with them so I really enjoyed the first two and yeah I'm going to continue with the series and that is yeah the the CAD file in this one is called Monk's Hood and the last book I'm going to show you will come under the the new category and it is so new it hasn't actually been released yet and that is Stone Mothers by Erin Kelly. This is um, about a, a mental asylum and to be honest that's all I know about it. Um, it is supposedly a mystery, some event happens in this mental asylum which has effects on on the surrounding, surrounding area um, but yeah I don't really know too much about it. I read um, he Said, She Said by Erin Kelly last year, really enjoyed that one. That one is set in during a solar eclipse and a, a sexual assault happens during, during this eclipse, but you get the viewpoint of, of two characters and do you believe his story or do you believe her story? Um, I thought it was fascinating, really enjoyed that one. So hopefully this one is going to be the same and this one is released in April 2019, so next month. So yeah, so hopefully I will get to that one as well in March. So that is my TBR for March Mystery Madness. Obviously I may not read all of those, I may read something different, I may pick up something else as well, but that is a rough TBR for March Mystery Madness. Let me know if you're taking part in March Mystery Madness. What, what are you hoping to read in that month? Let me know in the comments down below and and I will see you all again in my next video. Thank you for watching.